Fallout 3 would not be a Fallout game if it did not have some pretty game-breaking glitches and in this video I will show you my top 10 glitches in Fallout 3. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. Number 1. Unlimited XP The Unlimited XP glitch is a glitch that is performed by tricking the game into thinking that you have an unlimited supply of scrap metal in your inventory. In order to actually perform this glitch, you will need to find casting just outside Fort Independence. You will then need to trade all your scrap metal over to him and then later steal the scrap metal back. In this process, you will need to get caught and once you get caught, the game will remove all the scrap metal from your inventory except a couple. This will then force the game into thinking that you're holding a set number of scrap metal. You can then go to Megaton and trade your infinite supply of scrap metal to Walter for an infinite amount of XP and caps. Number 2. Unlimited Caps, Weapon and Armor Repairs The Unlimited Caps glitch is a really simple and straightforward glitch. In order to perform this glitch, you will first need to find a vendor who is selling two copies of the same weapon or armor. You will also need to ensure that both the items are being sold at different prices. You will then purchase the cheaper of the two items and immediately sell it back. When you sell it back, you will notice that the condition of the weapon or armor has improved and as a result, you will sell the said item for more caps than the purchase cap price. You can then repeat this pattern to effectively buy items at a low price but sell back at a high price. You can also keep the items where the conditions would be restored as a process of doing this. Number 3. Infinite Science Skill Books When you quote-unquote take care of an NPC, such as a raider, if you return to the same location 72 in-game hours later, the same NPC will respawn. This is basically the game's way to keep enemies respawning in areas that you have already visited. The glitch here is that the NPC also spawns with their inventory items. There is an NPC in Shalebridge known as the Researcher and he will be carrying a science skill book in his inventory. All you have to do is find the NPC, kill him, take the book, leave the area and wait for 72 in-game hours. Next, go back to the location and the same NPC would have spawned again, allowing you to continue this loop and get an infinite supply of science skill books. Number 4. Infinite Big Guns Skill Books this glitch is very similar to the last glitch in that you can get your hands on the big gun skill books instead. This particular NPC is holding a flamer and is found in the Bethesda ruins. Similar to the last glitch, pay a visit to the NPC, take him out, search his body, take the book and then wait 72 hours. Rinse and repeat for an easy way to level up your big gun's skill. Number 5. Early Power Armor Training When walking around in the game, you may have noticed that at times the player sort of clips into the game world. There is a very specific section of the DC wasteland where you can clip through the world and get early access to the Citadel. Doing this means that you will bypass a large portion of the game story. When doing this, you can directly go and speak to Elder Lions and ask him about power armor training. You can then make your way to the Citadel Courtyard and speak to Paladin Gunny and with that you can get access to Power Armor training very early in the game. Number 6. Companions Glitch The Companion Glitch will allow you to recruit all the companions at the same time. To perform this glitch, you will first need to have access to the Brotherhood of Steel DLC and be at level 2 and also have the Puppy's Perk. The glitch is actually very simple. When Dogmeat dies in battle, a new puppy Dogmeat spawns right outside of Vault 101. The glitch is that between the time Dogmeat dies and a new puppy spawns, the game thinks that you have a free companion slot. If you approach a companion and recruit them before the new puppy spawns, you will be able to recruit that said companion regardless of the number of companions that you currently have following you. You can then sadly continue to kill Dogmeat and recruit as many companions as you want. Number 7. Operation Anchorage. Take items outside of the simulation. This glitch will allow you to take as many items as you want outside of the simulation in Operation Anchorage. Just before you enter the room with the simulation pod, if you look to your left, then you will notice a dead body of Gary. 
you will then need to take Gary and place him inside the simulation pod before you enter it yourself. Once you do this, play the simulation as normal, collecting as many weapons, items, ammo as possible. After defeating the general at the end of the simulation, and you have just exited your dialogue options with General Chase, for a brief window, you will be able to access the dead Gary's inventory before the game removes your item. If you can manage to do that, then you will be able to transfer all the items found in the Operation Anchorage DLC to the dead Gary body before the game removes them from your inventory. Once you do that, simply exit Gary's inventory and proceed as normal. After you exit the pod itself, simply access Gary's inventory and you will be able to take all the items back. Now do note that all the items from Operation Anchorage will have a crazy high amount of HP, meaning that they will degrade very slowly. This means that the items you take from the simulation out in the wasteland will be pretty overpowered. Number 8. Operation Anchorage. Get all requisition packages. This is yet another glitch that is very simple and can be performed very easily. It will allow you to get all the requisition packages while playing Operation Anchorage. When you eventually get the option to select a requisition package, select any package of your choice and then just make your way outside the tent. Now, speak to the quartermaster and ask him that you want the items from the package. He will then simply give them to you. Next, just drop all the items from your package. Simply go into your inventory and just drop them on the ground. Make sure to also drop the weapons as well as the ammo. Now, go back into the tent, to the terminal and just select a different package. Once you've done that, return to the quartermaster and this time ask that you want to change your package. The quartermaster will say that he will take your old gear and replace it with the new gear. Given that you have actually dropped all the items from your first select package, there is nothing for the quartermaster to actually take. You will also notice that the items that you dropped are still on the ground, whilst you now have access to the items from another package. You can then simply repeat this process until you have all the requisition package items on the ground. Simply go ahead and pick them all up, and with that you will have all the package items. What's better is that you can combine this glitch with the last glitch to then also take all these items outside of the simulation. Number 9. Wear unlimited hats. This glitch will allow you to wear any number of hats and really break your character. This glitch will boost all your stats. In order to perform this glitch, you would have first need to complete the Operation Anchorage DLC and have the Chinese stealth armor. Now, simply equip the armor and you should be able to equip any number of hats. Traditionally, the game only allows you to wear a single hat at a time, but while wearing the Chinese stealth armor, this restriction is removed, allowing you to wear any number of hats. In addition, if you have two copies of the same hat, then you can continue to equip the same hat multiple times, which will really boost that one stat. Given that this glitch can break your game, you can reset this by simply unequipping the armor and unequipping each hat. Number 10. Enter the pit with all your gear. When you enter the pit, all your items are removed and placed inside a safe. Once you complete the DLC, you will then be able to take your items back. But you can use this simple exploit to take all your current items into the pit and not actually lose it at the very beginning. When you approach the gates of the pit, before you talk to the NPC who is standing at the gate, find a dead body and move it inside the gate while also ensuring that you remain outside the gate. Now simply transfer all your items to the dead NPC. Now, go ahead and talk to the gatekeeper and he will take all your items and place them in the safe next to him. Given that you have already transferred your items, there is nothing for the NPC to take. Now, go ahead and enter the pit, but the moment you actually go inside the gate, go ahead and exit the pit back into the main gate area. If you now search the dead NPC body, you will be able to take all your items back. The glitch here is actually pretty simple. If you manually enter the pit using the gate, this act removes all the inventory items that you have, but if you fast travel into the pit, then the items will remain in your inventory. Now that you have all the items in your inventory and you have discovered the pit location on your map, simply go ahead and fast travel to the location. And with that, you will now be inside the pit whilst also holding onto all your items. In no real particular order, these were some of the best glitches that you can perform in Fallout 3, which will give you a big edge.
I have gone into a lot more detail for each of these 10 glitches, including many more. And if you want to learn more about these 10 glitches, then click on my Fallout 3 glitch playlist you see on the screen now.